I've been trying to do all the new zombies content solo, and I think I finally have all the items I need to go back to the Dark Aether and start doing some riff runs. Technically, I have all the items except one. We still need the golden dog collar, but we should be able to get it this game, hopefully. But I also brought in some Pack-A-Punch 2 crystals, so I'm throwing that on my swarms and my grenade launcher. And let me throw some perks on here. And I try to come in here as prepared as possible because while we have to get our golden dog collar, we have to fight, oh, like I think it's an HVT mega abomination in the tier three zone so i'm hoping the swarms can get us through that but after that and when we go into the dark aether actually the fight omega abomination before we even get back to the dark aether but while we go to the dark aether we have to complete three contracts there in 30 minutes and the zombies are going to be very strong so i'm hoping i can get some good schematics from that and then we need to use those schematics to actually take on the new worm boss yeah there's a whole nother worm boss and i'm also going to be trying to do that solo but from what i've seen the best way to take it on solo you need the new schematic with the golden plates that way you're not wasting time plating up and you can still just keep dealing damage to the worm boss so i'm really hoping we can come away with that today if not then we'll have to do some more riff runs but at the very least i want to just get the dark aether unlocked for me that way we can start getting like sigils I think they're called so we can just go through the portal and do it whenever but I've been doing a little bit of prep to get ready for this and while I was doing it I found out that if you go into the game with like another operator like an operator you don't have like a large backpack or anything on you can go in get all the money you want get all the items you want and just throw it on your tombstone I even brought a large backpack here just in case I needed it but the reason why I use a different operator is because whenever you do the tombstone method like you can still get all your stuff back and all your money and everything but you're not going to go up to your tombstone with a large backpack unless you use a different operator that already had one so it's a nice little way to get set up for one operator by just using another to farm out some points but now to get our dog collar we need to find a hellhound dog house finding the dog house might be the hardest challenge so far far i don't see one anywhere i swear i see these things all the time when i'm not looking for them and now that i am they don't exist oh there's one right here all we need to do is throw a molotov in there it's gonna piss them off and immediately kill him give me that dog collar all right now let's just head to the tier three zone and grab pap three and then we can start the next part of this all right give me pap three on these and on these might as well make a run to the wonder fizz while we're over here bounce the decoy off the wall if we have to distract them for a minute yeah fuck off go away Give me all of these. Let's get moving. Now we just need to find an ethereal rift to go through. I was playing hide and seek around the map. I don't see a single rift. It's like the dog house is all over again. These things like don't exist. Every spot where I know they spawn at. Oh, wait, never mind. My prophecy comes true again. Bitch about something enough. You'll get it. I just need to go through this red rift. There we go. Now let's follow this over here. We just gotta grab this bounty. Give me that. Now, where is it? Oh, it's a mangler, actually. Hey, I'll take a mangler any day of the week. Where's he at? Oh, there's his whole family here. Let's take him out. He is just tanking damage. He does not give a shit. Uh-oh. All the zombie friends coming after me. I got an idea. Let's lead you on over to this deadbolt turret. Why don't you guys follow me? We're gonna go for a walk. We're gonna go up this rope. We just gotta climb this and toss our circuit into this. And hopefully this dude will turn the corner. Or even better, he'll try to push me up here like all these other zombies are. Come on, Mangler. Come on up here. There we go. That's what I like to see. Walk right in my trap. Come on, hurry before my deadbolt turret shuts down. There we go. Light his ass up. Easy. Give me that. Now we can head to the little tornado over here. All right. This is the moment of truth. So we put the dog collar on this one. Am I missing an item? No, dude. What am I missing? The CCTV camera's gone. Oh, fuck me, dude. I got all prepared for this and I, I actually dropped an item somewhere. Shit. Okay, well, we need to go find Deadwire now. And I'm getting scared because I've been crashing in this game a lot. And every time I crash, it's under 15 minutes in the game. And we're at 1645. But what I have noticed is that when I do crash... It's only when I'm in a vehicle. So we're just going to have to raw dog this and not use a vehicle. And let's hope this first Aether Nest has dead wire in it and we can find an Ethereal Orb fast. Holy fuck. This is a fumble. It's got to be the thing where I go to replace something in my backpack and it replaces the thing next to what I went to replace. That's so stupid. I came in here with three out of the four items. I got the fourth item and dropped another one. You can't make this shit up. But now I'm stressed. Please. Oh my God. This is a fucking legendary fumble. What about this one? I know you gotta have it in here. You gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. Maybe I'll, I'll throw out a Hail Mary. Anyone have a dead wire ammo mod? Please, I'm getting the same two ammo mods. This is beyond fucked up. No, and we crash! Are you serious? 
I'm gonna have to go fight the fucking worm boss again. Oh, I should have fucking exfilled when I saw I lost the other part. God damn it. Why do you do this to me, Cod? Why? Good thing though, is that when you crash, you keep your tombstone from the last game, so we're still in it. I mean, we don't have like all of our stuff in the tombstone, like all of our items, but at least we get a, look, a good little start here. Oh, let's go. All the stuff I saved up is still here. Thank God. All right, Worm, I'm coming. All right, well, we're back in the Dark Aether, but for all the wrong reasons. All right, Worm. It's time for your dicking. Don't you fucking eat me, you big bitch. Just take your turrets and hopefully this spot still works. Ah! Psych ass. Was not scared at all. Fucking worm cocksucker. I'll show you a worm. Die if you're a big, dumb, stupid fucking worm. Oh. That's fucked up. My only down this fight, and it's right after I say some bullshit like that. Fuck you. Just die. Bastard. That's two. I ain't forget. Came out here and did all this bullshit just for a fucking book. I got a feeling that this ethereal orb here has got to have something good in it, right? Oh wow, an uncommon aether tool. Fuck yourself. What did the worm drop? Death perception. The VR11 case, I haven't used that yet. A skull in the Wonder Wolf case. Do you have the book for me? Thank you. All right, now let's get out of here. That's one item down, three more to go. There's our dark aether Vicodin, but that's only epic tier. We need to get that to legendary. And there's our legendary. We upgraded our perk 10s to perk 30s. There's our epic surveillance camera. Let's go upgrade this. This is fucked up, dude. The disciple I have to kill not only is very strong, but he's fucking way up in the, in the fucking sky. I'm fighting Homelander. He's literally in the fucking stratosphere. Like what the fuck? He's like slowly floating higher and higher. My luck is so shit. Maybe he'll go up so high that I'll hit a kill box and just die and I'll get the reward. That'd be sweet. I don't think there's a fucking kill box up there. He's 300 meters above me. I can't even hit him. Well, gotta cancel this contract, I guess. Don't get my item back either. And I grabbed the dog collar, but I'm scared that I'm going to crash again. So I'm waiting for this exfil. Let's see if our rift still shows up since we have this dog collar. It does, but it's doing the fucking thing again where the rift is way higher than we are. This sucks, dude. I'll try this one. That's better. Now I'm going in here with no pack a punch, but I'm really banking on us having this bounty near a deadbolt turret. It looks like it's in the same spot as before, so we should be able to get this done. But I also brought in a ray gun, so just in case our non pack a punch weapon can't get it done. Oh shit. The ray gun can at least hold us over for a second. All right, deadbolt turret, take care of it. What the fuck? You just have to cha cha slide. All right, well, I'll take my item anyways. Oh shit, what a fucking legend. I will be taking that for sure. Let me use my tombstone. Okay, we're good, we're fine. What a fucking guy. You know what, say what you want, but if somebody's dropping me free money, after all the crashes I've been through, I'll take it. Shit, if he's still giving out money, fuck it, dude. I'll take some more. Oh, and we finally got our camera back. Now all we gotta do is take ourselves out and grab our tombstone next game. That way we can keep all this money. All right, cool. Hopefully it stays on my body there. All right, now let's bring these items in and hopefully our tombstone's there. Our tombstone's here. Oh, and all the money's in there too. Let's fucking go. Okay, now we just need to pack a punch and then we can head on in there. We got pack three on these. Unfortunately, I don't have a uh, aether tool to put on this though. But we can buy all of our perks here. Let me get a large backpack, durable gas mask, three plate armor vest, and a bunch of self revives. And a jug. And that's how you spend 160,000 in one game. Wish I could buy aether tools. Maybe if we can find an ethereal orb, we can take that out real quick. Here's an orb. Just what we're looking for. What do you got for me? You gotta be fucking kidding me. This game actually hates me. That's like the one time I've done an ethereal orb and no aether tool dropped. I would even take an uncommon one. This orb better fucking have one. Okay, it is an uncommon one. I'll take it. Whatever. Better than none. And I'm not gonna push my luck any further. Let's just go do this before I crash. Actual moment of truth. Dog collar goes on napalm burst. Then for dead wire, you get the camera. Brain rot. You get the Vicodin. Cryo, you get the diary. Let's fucking go, dude. Get that pedestal here. That's so sick. 
Oh man, let's go to the dark ether. I, I hope nothing comes out of it. Of course. Who could have guessed? You fucking keep your lasers to yourself, buddy. It's not like I've never taken one of you out. This would be a free kill for me. Unless you fuck me up. Please don't. Please don't fuck me up. I would really appreciate it if you didn't. Okay, cool. Stay on my dick. Go ahead and try to shoot more lasers. Bozo. There you go. Enjoy. Oh, he did. He enjoyed it very much. Good thing we have all these self-revives. This shit is getting tricky out here. Holy fuck. This is very not solo friendly. Fuck me, dude. How many self-revives do I have left? Because I swear if I die on this part... Okay, I have three more. That should be fine. He's at half health. We just need to do a little bit more. That max armor right there would help out a lot. So would not be getting hit by this laser. Fuck. Shit, dude. I don't know if I can actually get this done. No way I went through all this, though. The fail right here. I'm bringing in the big guns. Let's try to keep them away from it, though, as it drops. There it is. Let me in. Fuck you. I should have used this at the start. This is tearing them. Let's go. Beautiful. Any other zombies want the smoke? Yeah, I didn't think so. And now we have an ethereal rift or whatever. A, a sigil. Sigil. Whatever. But we only have two self revives. I'm going to go buy some more before we head in. But hopefully from now on, whenever we come in here... We can just use sigils to go into the portal and not have to grab all those items ever again. God, I hope that's how it works. I don't want to do that shit ever again. I completely forgot I even had my grenade launcher that entire time. That would have definitely helped with some of the zombies. <gasps> and an epic aether tool? Let's go. Give me some self-revives back. Give me some armor too. I think we're good. Go ahead and build that portal. All right, let's throw this in here. Now let's go to the dark aether. I hope what I got is enough. I know they're not legendary tier, but they're going to have to do. The only way for us to get legendary aether tools anyways are the schematic for it is through here. All right, dark aether, let's see what you're made of. We're going to go find all these bunnies and chase them down. Oh, we're greeted immediately by a mega abomination. Yeah, right. See you later, pal. Oh, and these are tier four zombies. All they have is the aether symbol next to them. I ain't scared. I can see one of the bunnies up here already. I already kind of have a, a rough idea where they all are. I've seen a map of where all the bunnies are at. So let's start this one up. Where are we going, bunny? But now we have an Aether Extractor contract we got to do. I wish the normal Aether Extractors were like this and we didn't have to fight mercs. I would much rather fight these zombies. I'm going to try to speed run these. Throw this down. Overload it. The Mimic is pushing me out of the way like a dick. Oh, cocksucker. Fuck the Mimic. There's like unlimited zombies over here. This is fucked up. Decoy. And there goes our first down. And we're very low on ammo. And we only really have a minute to do this? Alright, well there's one down. Can I please move? Looking like a no. Three self-revives left? We've already used two. And we're not even done with our first contract. At least if we die here, I'm pretty sure it remembers that we came into here. At least I hope so. Otherwise we're fucked. I probably didn't even need a decoy for this one, but we're doing it anyways. Did it work? Did I get this one? No, it didn't even go off. Nice. I got 12 seconds to get this last one done. I think we failed this contract. Unless I can get the buzzer beater. No, it's not looking like it. Contract failed. Fuck. Do we have to go back and do it again? Or do we go to another one? Oh, let me look at our map. There's one near the beach. So let's, let's head there and try that one out. And I need to start using my fucking grenade launcher. I brought it in here for a reason. Why am I so dense? There's actually a bunny right here. Let's try this. Escort the ACV? Hell no. Where is it? Oh, it's falling right over here. Is there ammo somewhere? I'm in desperate need. There it is. All right, let's try this. Let me take out all the zombies nearby first. That way the, our ACV doesn't get spawn killed. Mimic, you're a cocksucker. Now you're my cocksucker. You brain rotted, dumbass. All right, fuck it. Let's just start it. We just got to keep using the grenade launcher on any zombie that gets near it. If we stay up here and use it, we should be all right. Hopefully. Oh, I forgot about the part where it stands still. We're still doing pretty decent, though, for now. I should have brought a wonder weapon in here. Oh, and there's another fucking down. I just want to at least get through one of these. Just one. At least while it's moving, we're pretty good. As long as the manglers aren't doing too much damage to it shooting. Disciple, you're a dick. Now you're my dick. Funny how that goes. I'm so low on ammo. You guys want to draw me some? Oh, keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. No need to stop. Come on, it's only at 
I'm putting my body on the line over here. Oh, an insta-kill is beautiful. That's what we like to see. Oh, cashmere, beautiful. We can make it through this. I'm pretty sure it only has one more stop, and we're approaching it. Oh, not a mega abomination. Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck you. You big bastard. That's so fucked up. Oh, and we're down. Nice. Now they get free reign to hit it. Please be a nuke. <gasps> no way. No fucking way. Come on. Lift off. Now's the time. Go. 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 Take off. How am I downing myself? 6%. Oh, it's gone. We did it. We fucking did it. We made it through one. No way. I have no more self revives though. So I need to try to get this reward without dying. Oh, let's go. And we got the golden plates. You know what? That's fine with me. We should probably just get out of here. I did get another self revive. I should probably equip that though. It's probably smart. Holy fuck. We got to do more of these. At least uh, we, we have the chance to get those now. Let's try to find an X-Fell. I think that's one right there. Please get me the fuck out. <sighs> Let's go. We're, we're definitely gonna have to come back and get more schematics, but I got the one schematic I wanted. Well, I guess I, I want some more schematics than that, but the one that we needed if we want to try to take on that worm. Holy fuck. The golden armor play, baby. Wait a second. That's not even the schematic for it? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, it's just the acquisition. Damn it, dude. All right, well, at least we got this for when we want to attempt to do the worm or if we ever want to go back to the Aether, whichever one we decide to do first. I can't even speak right now, but I'm going to have to end it here as if doing this solo wasn't hard enough. We got extremely unlucky through the majority of this run. And then we got that one stroke of luck, one kind soldier to give us a bunch of essence so we could get back on our feet on our final run there. And it barely even worked, but that's all I got. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.